Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from the beautiful Chiricahua Chiric Chiricahua Chiricahua National Monument. I swear the, the, I don't know if I'll ever nail that, but um yeah, so what are we doing? So today we're actually gonna show you um a really cool short hike. It's one of the easier one in the park. Uh it is called Echo Canyon Grottoes. So it is part of the whole Echo Canyon Trail, but this is just a short, um, my short little section, and it's only a mile total. So half a mile there, half a mile back. You can go longer if you want to or further. Um, but this is like if you, you know, for people that's not a big fan of hiking, but you, it'll take you to some really nice places, really cool places. Uh, it's also part of the bigger height uh, that we did. It's called the Big Loop. It's part of the Big Loop. I, uh, that was an awesome hike, uh, 10 miles. Uh, if you haven't seen it, up the right corner, we'll put a little card for you. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're just gonna show you this short little section. It's really cool. So, you ready to go? Let's do it. This trail starts off at the Echo Canyon Trailhead. There is plenty of parking here, but this is also a popular trail, so if you're coming on the weekends, you might want to get here a little bit early. There is only one intersection that you have to worry about on this hike, and you'll find it at the one-tenth of a mile mark. A very short ways into the hike, we are going to come to this junction here. We can still almost see the parking lot. Since we are going to the Echo Canyon Grotto, we are going to be making a right. This is where you will start to climb ever so slightly. If you're not big on elevation gain, don't worry because this trail only has about 78 feet of it. As we continue to climb, the rock formations appeared off in the distance. They really reminded us of the hoodoos from Bryce Canyon, but these are actually considered rock pinnacles. This entire area is absolutely gorgeous to explore, and it's nice that there are shorter trails like this that'll still take you to some really amazing places. Even though we would definitely put this trail in the easy category, you do need to watch where you're going. There is no shortage of pokey plants and narrow parts of the trail like this. And another thing that you'll see along the way are tons of rocks that seem to defy gravity. It was really windy when we were visiting and it's an absolute miracle that that rock has not blown down yet. We are now right around three tenths of a mile into this very short hike and the rock formations are getting better all the time. One thing that's interesting about these rhyolite formations is that unlike the famous hoodoos of Bryce Canyon, these are covered in a thin layer of moss so they have a green tint to them. Around the four tenths of a mile mark, the trail will be curving gently off to the left and taking you by yet another cool balancing rock formation. Chiricahua National Monument might not be a massive place. The entire monument only covers an area of 12,025 acres, but somehow it feels like a whole lot more. And one of the awesome things about it being a national monument as opposed to a national park is that this place is actually free to visit. The only thing that we ask is that you please clean up after yourself and leave the area looking even better than you found it. After passing that last balancing rock, we are just a couple of corners away from the grottos. But along the way, there are going to be a couple more viewpoints that look out over all the formations. Even though this trail is really short, you're going to want to leave yourself plenty of time to enjoy it. Not only are we slow hikers, but we were constantly stopping to take pictures, and this trail ended up taking us two and a half hours to complete. Right before you get to the grottos, you will be coming to this micro-sized slot canyon. It's only a couple feet long, but it makes for a cool little photo op. Almost as soon as you make it through that micro slot, you should have amazing views on both the left and right sides of the trail. As just a bit of a pro tip, the views from here are much better at sunset, but if you're going to stick around for sunset, please be sure to bring a flashlight so you can find your way back to the car. 
We came pretty close to hiking in the dark when we did the Big Loop Trail, but luckily we came prepared. On this day, we set out quite a bit earlier, so we would have plenty of time to explore and we wouldn't have to feel like we were racing the clock. And look at that, before you know it, we made it to the grotto. You know how we know? There's a sign, it says grotto, so. Technically, you have to go around the corner and just a little around the corner. It's really cool, it looks, it looks super cool, so we're gonna go in next floor and show you what it looked like inside. So yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's cool little bits of nature like this that make us fall in love with what we do all over again. It might not be a massive rock structure like Buckskin Gulch, which you can see in the upper corner, but it's just really neat and fun to explore. Here you'll find these big boulders just pressed into the ceiling, looking like they could come down at any second. And the walls have these gaps that look out in several different directions. You can just turn around and head back from here, but if you know us, you know that's not our style. In the upper right hand corner of the cave, we found this small trail that led to even more viewpoints. Please note that things can get a little bit tricky here, so I wouldn't even bother climbing up and out of the cave if you don't have grippy shoes and maybe even some rock climbing experience. The climbing experience part is not as crucial. It's only important if you want to go up some of these large rocks like this. Luckily the rock here is really grippy and as long as you have the right shoes you can scale the walls like a gecko. If you want to see the La Sportiva shoes that we wear on pretty much all of our adventures you can head over to thatadventurelife.com and check out our recommended gear section. Once V climbed back down, we were almost ready to head back to the grotto. That is until I spotted this little gap that I just had to parkour over. There's a lot of fun exploring that can be done up here. Or you can head back down through the grotto to the main trail and continue on further. As for us, we had done the big loop the day before, which comes through here, and our legs were pretty tired, so it was time to head back to the car. If you're going to be heading back as well, you need to climb down through the grotto and then make a left. This is a fairly simple out and back trail, but be sure to leave yourself some time. Seeing things facing the other direction is sure to give you some views that you missed on the way out. One thing that's cool to see here is how everything changes as the sun starts to get closer to the horizon. The way that the warmer light hits the rocks really brings out the saturation in the green moss. It was really unique to see, and the vibrant shades of green were unlike anything that we'd seen at any other national park, state park, or national monument. One thing is for sure, this is probably one of the most beauty-packed one-mile hiking trails that we have ever been on. This really is the perfect trail for people who are new to hiking or if you're trying to get your kids into hiking. And if you thought this hike was beautiful, just wait until you see some of the videos we have coming up over the next couple weeks from Chiricahua National Monument. This is definitely an underrated park and it's hard to believe that we didn't even know about it until recently. After one last climb, it should be almost flat the rest of the way back to the car. And as we made a left, we found ourselves back at that trail junction again. Alright, and that wraps up the Echo Canyon Grottos. We are back at the, uh, the parking lot is just up the way there. Nice, simple hike. Like, if you're not feeling like, uh, doing some marathons, it's, this is a good one. It is rocky, so, um, it's not like a smooth walk. You do go yeah. uphill and downhill and there. It's so, there's our rocks, so. But it's not, it's not that difficult. Honestly, you just have to wash your but take your time and it's so short that it doesn't feel like it's you know that big of a deal yeah and i mean e even though i will say there are better views of the hoodoos you, you do get to quite a few good lookouts that yeah. give you a nice kind of overview of what the park is about but um 
yeah, it's it's, it's pretty cool because you get the, you know the, you can see like the whole uh, hoodoos at the bottom. I guess they call hoodoos. We call them hoodoos. Um, you know the the vast like a bunch of them at the bottom, and then you say you you are able to like wander in between them. I mean, if you see the videos, and then um, the beautiful obviously that beautiful grotto. So yeah. Yeah. But um but yeah it's uh, stay tuned we're going to come uh, we're going to come out with a couple more videos on Chiracawa National Monument. Ooh, okay. She said it good that time. Yeah. <laughs> so um yeah stay tuned we're going to ha- we're going to show you what uh you know all the things to do here. And- so yeah. Hi. And uh if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. That like button is awesome. Helps us out. The subscribe button also helps us. If you have any other comment uh questions or comments or any recommendations for us to do in Arizona and New Mexico, let us know. We would love to come back to the beautiful state. For sure. Yeah. See you next time. All right. See ya.